One of the things I do, uh, I travel a lot and speak in large educational conferences to superintendents, principals, counselors, teachers, and, uh, and I say some things sometimes that shock them. One of the first things I say in a training for superintendents or principals is I, I don't like the word tolerance. And it's kind of a shock wave that goes across. And uh, I just let them know, I don't want to be tolerated. I don't want to be put up with, and I don't want to put up with you. Mm. Uh, tolerance is a negative word, it's not a positive word. What I want is to be accepted. And just accepting me doesn't mean you agree with me, doesn't mean you approve of what I do. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I, you know, I, I have five children, three stepchildren, 12 grandchildren, and I accept all of them equally. I don't agree with all of them equally in what they think, and I don't approve of all they do, but I accept them 100% of the time. And so that's the first little shock wave is let's practice acceptance. And I have friends that are extremely liberal. I have friends that are extremely conservative that won't talk to each other, but they'll talk to me because they know I love, they know there I love you them. Go. There you go. And we have got to come in this nation. We're divided. Yep. And so one of the things I also talked about was that if we focus too much, and that's the key word, if we focus too much on diversity, we're going to create division. I've seen it happen. If we focus too much on unity, we create compromise. Mm -hmm. But if we focus on, we can never focus too much on connecting and relatedness. And if we love. focus on relatedness, yeah. and that's where yeah. love comes, but you can't love someone if you don't accept them. No. <laughs>